which is Mark Bohnia. So we're going to be looking at folders, right? They're creating the following folder structure below. All right, so the main folder is IT. All right, so let me put a task in between this here. So main folder is IT. Right, and then in IT, we're going to create a text folder called application. Right, in IT, you create a folder called software. In IT, you also create a folder called audio. When you go back here, you create a folder in application and email world. Right, so very important. We're going to show you exactly how we can do it. Right, so you notice if you have one folder named IT, one in application, one in word, one in software and audio. So in other you have like five on the desktop. Right, so if you want to limit this space, so let's put everything in one. So I'm going to show you exactly how you can actually create all of these in one. Right, so let me get on the PC and begin. Right, the first thing you want to right click. So this go in there here. When you see this little pointer here, mean that it's optional. You see the folder, I'm going to click it. So I'm going to type the ID here. Right, and then we're going to press enter. Right, good. One section IT, right? So we're going to right click to open it, right? We're going to open it now. We're going to create a folder that call application, right? It's very important. So we're going to come right up here, and right now we're going to click on it. Notice right this is a new folder. So we're going to put your application here. Right, here, sir. Good, and then we want to press enter. Right? And then we want to create a next folder again. So we'll go back to this again. And then we we'll click. Right? And that one will be software. Software. Right? And then we we'll press enter. Right? Now we want a different folder. Go right back. I will click again. Some software you will see in here. My version is right here, right? So we're gonna put hardware here, and then we're gonna press enter, right? So we have one more step to go, and the step that we need to go to this step right here, which we're gonna open application and create one call word, right? So let me do that, right? I come right here, and I'm gonna right click on your application. When I right click on Word application, I'm going to click Word open. Right, so I'm going to create a folder now. I'm going to come right back here and I click. I'm going to type your Word. Right, Word here and then I press enter. Right, and if you notice, these are all right here. If I click there, notice it came back there. And if I come all the way over here and close it, you notice right here, you throw the folder, I see the main folder. Notice, all right? If I open it, what you will see, you will see three folder right here. And if I open my application here, now you see another one. All right. Let me do a demonstration and show you in case all this folder thing works. All right. I'm going to click here. I'm going to put all folders on the desktop. All right. And then I'm going to close this folder. All right. And if you notice right here, right, this is a main folder, right? Main folder, right? Let me open my application. Check out the one that's in application, right? So this is what's in application, right? So let me close application now. So I have this one, right? So look now, we have one, two, three, four, right? Five. And it exact. So in order for you to put everything into one, I put them back in the right space, right? That I can have more space when I let that, right? You know, so this come from application, I put back this in application. I right? should so drag this and put it in IT. What about this one? Drag it and put it in IT. Drag about this and put it in IT. So we only have one now. So only have one space. So let's put this and put it right there. Just like that. So if we want to look for something in in software. Can right click, right? I can open, right? And there you go with the folder and all that thing. So very important and all of that, right? So what if this you want to email this, right? What would you do it, 
right? Now, that to in the distal one, you have to compress it. So we're going to compress the recursor point directly. Evaluate here. And send it. Erase the compress. And click on the compress, right? Notice the structure says IP. So this is the compress version, right? I hope you have learned something from this video. You can like and also subscribe to this particular video. All right, so thanks for watching. And I'll come with the next one.